So that that is a no silent free estimates. That is a silent, a deadly killer. Okay. And we did that in the beginning too. So. Yes, we, we all do it. We, yeah, we, we all do these things, and we learn. And hopefully, you learn a lot quicker. That's what this is about. Right. You learn quicker than I did. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 401st episode of Potty Talk. Okay. Hey, we have a fun Potty Talk line for you here. Mm -hmm. All right. The title of this Potty Talk is Silent But Deadly. Silent But Deadly Plumbing Business Killers. All right. So what do you mean by that? You want to get right at it I do. Okay. Let's get at at these deadly plumbing business killers. Okay. Okay. Number one. What is it? Not answering every call. Okay. Okay. So what? You mean they're not, when the phone rings, they're not answering it? Well, they're, well, sadly, all right, mm. the worst person answering the phone is the plumbing business, the plumber business owner. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Th- you're the worst. First of all, <laughs> let's hit worst. that first, okay? <laughs> we need to get you off the phone, mm-hmm. okay? Yes, Im- immediately. And, right. Now, if they do answer, I mean, sadly, you know, they're not answering every call because a lot of times, you know, they're stuck underneath a sink or in a crawl space, that kind of thing. Right. Because, On another line. Because or... they're still in the truck out, you know, doing work, sure. all right? Mm. Which is, you know, is a bad situation to be in. Right. Okay, well, we need to answer every call, and every call needs to be answered by someone other than you <laughs> if you're the plumber business owner. Oh, it's so true. Yes, because, and we say it all the time, it's because um, your tendency will be to try to fix it, right, over the phone or to give advice over the phone. And also right. the customer um, talks about uh, or, or realizes that they're talking to a plumber, and so surely you can give me a ballpark right. <laughs> of what the, the price is going to be, and that you never want to give prices over the phone. I don't know if we're going to talk about that. Right. Um, but um, and then also you're, if it's a job you don't want to do, right. You're like, oh, okay, I don't, it's on the other side of you're, town. You're qualifying, you're qualifying, you're right? qualifying yeah. the job, yeah, so which, which, which it happens. Right. And it's, it's it, common, right. But you're the worst person to answer the phone. Right. So we, mm-hmm. we got to get, got you, you know, got to get you off the phone. Yes. Look, and the customer on that note, the, the customer, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. True. Okay. Story. You may have heard me say that before. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm-hmm. All right, which leads to no one wants to spend money with a plumber. They do okay, not. so of course they're going to ask. You know, they're, they're, you know, they're going to push back on price and those kinds of things, and they're going to ask when they do call. You know, a, an intelligent question to ask because they are calling. Really, it's an out of out of control kind of a situation. They're right. upset. You know, they are upset because you know I, I don't want to deal with this. Mm-hmm. I mean, we love plumbing, but customers don't. No. Okay, it's you, they much rather do something else with the day than than Hand have their to money. right, <laughs> right to wait for a plumber have some, right. you know some guy in their house and then to spend mm-hmm. money on plumbing. Okay, right. mm-hmm. so that that's their mindset. So when they call, they're feeling a little uncomfortable, and so they they want to take control of the call. So, uh, uh, you know, an intelligent question is how much how much do you charge for blah right. blah blah. Mm-hmm. But those questions you don't want to answer. Okay, do not. Um, and and you can't answer them. And the guys will say, "Well, I get pricing." No. You're not professional if you get prices over the phone because there's no way that you know what the problem is to give a price over the phone. Right. The true problem. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. And then you say, well, it's just the water heater. Well, you don't know if the water heater that's there now is the code. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's no way. That's why doctors don't get prices over the phone. <laughs> they got they got to see you mm-hmm. because they're professional. Okay? You also don't when know you, if the water heater, if there's something in front of the water heater. Right. Um, where is the water heater? You know, is it going to take three people to get it out because it's so limed up with rust? Right. And all and those it, should affect your price. And of course, you're going to take the homeowners or whoever's, you know, you're talking to is, you know, um, word for it, word for it. Right. Because you are, they're professional plumbers. Right. So they know <laughs> they know plumbing mm-hmm. and they know, you know, what's uh, going on. And I also I've seen some plumbing companies um, talk about, well, I'm just going to have them send me a, a video or a, a picture on via text. Boy, that makes you unprofessional. Yes. That absolutely reduces your value where they can just shoot you over a, you know, a, a picture of what's going on, whatever plumbing problem. Um, and then, you know, you're texting back, well, I think it might be this and I think it might be that and it should be this. You're not a professional plumbing company. So, right. So box. Okay. Right. Well, mm-hmm. it's, and so, you know, it, you just want to, you want to, you know, take, take the call. You're going to build, build rapport. Mm-hmm. All right. And you're going to book the call for today. Correct. And not okay. you. Not, not you, plumbing you. business owner, right? So this we talk about. It. You want to get a, a CSR on. Okay. Right. So, mm-hmm. A lot of times, again, this is great great for business if, it, if it's your wife. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If possible, um, having your wife come alongside and, and be a part of the plumbing business. She's not coming to work for you. She's not coming to work for your plumbing business. Right. Okay. She's coming to work alongside you for your, both of your businesses, both of your business, right. As, and the asset for your family. So, and she's vested in making sure that the plumbing business succeeds. She wants it more than anybody else equally with you. 
um, that she wants the business to succeed. So um, she can come alongside and answer the phones. And, and, you know, if you're saying, oh, my wife doesn't know anything about plumbing, that's okay. She doesn't, she doesn't have know, to. Just, know nothing it, about plumbing. In fact, it helps if, if she doesn't. It helps right. if she doesn't know anything about plumbing, right? Because then she can just um, give customer service to help the customer book a call, um, get a plumber scheduled to be out of, out of the house, at, you know, whatever time works out, whatever. That's the CSR's role only. In fact, the stats tell us. CSR means customer service rep. Yes, the, the stats tell us that the number one concern of, of, of plumbing consumers, residential consumers, is not the price, the cost of the job. Their number one concern is, will someone take care of me today? Yeah, are they going to show up? And that's followed f- yeah. closely by, are they going to show up? Yep. That's the number one concern. Because people just, again, they just want their day back. Right. They just, whatever ha- whatever plumbing issue is happening, they just want it to go away. And more than likely, we know plumbing, right? It's something that does need to be taken care of pretty quickly because it's, it, you know, what you can't be without a water heater. You can't have something where you've got, you know, leaks coming from the ceiling, those types of things. So, um, yeah, the customers want to get it taken care of and get you in and out of their house right. just as soon as possible. The best thing you can put on your website mm-hmm. is call now for service today. Yes. That, that's the best thing you've been, not, not mm-hmm. all the different plumbing stuff you do and how good, great you are. And here's all these pictures and all this other kind of pictures that, of big hairballs. Right. Pulled out of that's the drain. best thing you could put, put on your website. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, and when they call really, that's what they're looking for. So as soon as you can get them to feel comfortable with you, and by the way, they're already sold. If they've called you, they already want you to do the work. Okay. Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't have to try to sell them, mm-hmm. but you, but what we do is we make them, we, we wind up, um, freaking them out. Yeah. Okay. I give them by, too much information. By, right. Answering all their <laughs> questions and, and, mm-hmm. and letting them, um, you know. Pepper you with questions. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, so get the wife involved if possible. Um, you know, talk, talk about it as a family. Is it something that makes sense for the wife if, if she's got, you know, a different um, job that maybe isn't like a career job? You know, is she a doctor? Is she an attorney? Or is she, is she on a career path for even, you know, a beautician? Sometimes you go to beauty school and, you, and she's got a dream of having her own salon or whatever. Then, then that's something to, to discuss. But if it's something that's just a job to her, air quotes, just a job to her, really talk about what would it be like for her to come along and, and work alongside um, you and build this plumbing business. If, if that's just not going to work out, either you're not married or that's just not going to be um, possible for the wife to do that, another alternative for answering the phones? Is Plumline. Plumline, yes, um, created by a plumber for plumbing companies. And it's 24-hour answering service. Man, they've got such great rates that you don't pay um, for like hourly rate, right? You don't pay an hourly rate. You pay based on how many calls they book. So say that your phone, you know, rings to them 10 or 15 times and they only book one call, which typically won't be the case. You only book one call. You're only paying for that one call. Um, so that's the beauty of, it, especially starting out. Um, if you can't afford um, a CSR full-time, um, staff member, right. something to have plumb line on. And even I, I, I would use them for even after hours or for oh, the secondary calls most assuredly. because calls a lot of times come, you know, bam, bam, come in twos, they come in twos. Mm-hmm. So if, if, you know, you're on the phone with one and then another call comes in, it would go to plumb line. Right. You can get, yeah, yeah, you can right. plumb on uh, helps you set it up. So if a call does um, happen to come in, um, you know, it's a call waiting type thing. Um, it can roll over to them. It can roll over to, to plumb line. If your CSR, your wife, not you, um, is, is on the phone. And so you don't miss that call. And then after hours from five o'clock until you open the next morning, absolutely having a company like Plumline answer the phones for you because then they can book calls for you the next day. What's so beautiful. We hear it all the time from Plumline customers is, man, you know, we, we turn the phones over to them at four 30 or five or, you know, whenever we come back in the morning and there's two or three calls on, on the boards for us already starting the day out. Right. And you didn't have to answer them. And all you paid was a small fee um, for them to book those two or three calls. You didn't pay for them to be on um, taking phone calls for that 12 hours or whatever that, that you're, you transfer the phones over. You're only paying for the calls that were booked. So do it. Mm-hmm. All right. You can okay. go to themilliondollarplumber.com mm-hmm. forward slash plumb line. Plum line. And um, they give uh, special attention to uh, Potty Talk they sure listeners do. and viewers. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. And they, they just have great service. So plumb line. Plumb line. Um, all right. What else okay. you got? So answering every call, not mm-hmm. answering every call. Mm-hmm. Number two. Uh, Silent okay. but deadly. All right. Providing free estimates. <laughs> that is a killer. <laughs> Providing free estimates. Well, I got to. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> never, ever, never provide free estimates. Okay. Ever. You're just a dead man driving. Okay, you're driving so all over true. town. That that is one of the biggest killers mm-hmm. in business. Driving yeah. around giving free estimates. Mm. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, they called you to do the work. Right. Okay. For when we're, we're talking residential service work. Correct. Okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. So we're not driving out for free estimates. So we're going to charge, we're going to charge a service call fee or a diagnostic fee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Prefer not to call it a trip charge because customers can kind of feel, you got to make it sound like there's this value, value, which, which there is because you're driving out to their house mm-hmm. and then you're using your years of experience <laughs> to diagnose and, and, you know, to call, okay, mm-hmm. the problem. And you're taking right. time to do so, right. okay? So you need to ch- charge a, a diagnostic fee, mm-hmm. which you can waive. We say waive with any, you know, if we do any work whatsoever, okay? Mm-hmm. But you're not driving out there just to, you know, take a look at things and let them shop you, okay? Right. That's not, the, the value is in you doing the work today mm-hmm. and getting the work done right then, That's okay? Right. And so charging that, that diagnostic fee mm-hmm. um, helps to qualify the customer or the serious. Right. So many times we have, and it's one of the biggest, you know, why you know, companies will fail, um, you know, at worst, struggle at best, mm-hmm. is because they're driving all over town. Giving free estimates. Giving, giving free estimates. Yep. All right. Doctor give free estimates? Nope. Nope. I'm trying to think somewhere where you can go and just get a free estimate, right, to where the person has gone out of their way, you know, to go to the house and, you know, to, to diagnose right. and use their years of experience and know-how. Um, and you don't have to do that to compete. Look, no one's calling you um, in the morning, you know, for plumbing. To, they, don't, they don't want a bunch of free estimates. Mm-hmm. They're, not, they're not calling – on the whole. On the whole. Now, if you get the person who is, well, that tells you they can't afford you anyway. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, why, why don't you just give them the money? <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, which, which is what you're doing when you're mm-hmm. driving around giving free estimates. Right. Okay? Yeah, you're, you're, you're showing that you're, you don't have value. Right. That's what you're doing. You're showing my time isn't valuable. My, my expertise, my knowledge, my years of experience, my training, mm-hmm. all of those things, um, there's no value to that. That's, right. that's what you're doing, and that's not the case. Right. So, all right. no more free estimates. So, that, that is a no silent. No free estimates. That no. is a... Silent a deadly killer. Okay. And we did that in the beginning too. So. Yes, we, we all do it. We, yeah, we, we all do these things and we learn. And hopefully you learn a lot quicker. That's what this is about. Right. You learn quicker than I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. No free estimates. Mm-hmm. Though I do have something free for you. Ooh. All right. For uh, listening or watching here. All right. Check it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro. You wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. Okay, <laughs> welcome back. All right. That was funny. I hope you grabbed your uh, free blueprint. Yeah. Okay. You too. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that might even be one of the specs in there, something about uh, free estimates and how to deal yes. with that. Okay. Okay. All right. So there we have, well, these are silent killers mm-hmm. of a plumbing business. All right. Not answering every call. All right. Mm-hmm. Number two, providing free estimates. <laughs> Drive that in the ground. No more free estimates. No more free estimates. Mm. And then finally, number three, mm. having a full schedule. Wait, I don't understand. Having, that's a deadly, silent and deadly that, that killer. That is a killer. <laughs> Lining, setting yourself up with a full schedule for the whole week. Whole week. Everything's all lined up perfectly. Right. Nothing okay. can go wrong. Line, lining the week <laughs> up and now I can coast. You got every job in. We know what we want to have. Who's going to go where, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds great. That you know, it sounds, sounds all secure. Warm, and, warm and fuzzy mm-hmm. and all cuddly, <laughs> you know, but it is killing you. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. We want to do every job, schedule every job for today. Yes. Okay. And if you have more jobs... And you have guys mm-hmm. or you, okay, <laughs> what's that tell you? Okay. Time to hire. I can hire. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right then. The value to the customer is getting things taken care of today. Yes. The, the, the wealth building in your business is doing the stuff today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause what happens when you, when you schedule things out, um, the customers aren't as motivated. They, it is more about price now. You know, you, you've taken the call on Monday and you, you schedule them out for Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Now, by the way, they're not, not waiting the Wednesday. Okay. Most so, of the time they're not waiting till Wednesday. Correct? So, right. They want it done. Right. They want it done. So they're calling, they're calling around mm-hmm. and someone else is, someone else is going to get there before Wednesday. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's just the money is in today. Money is in today. Okay. Yeah. So if you're, you're, if you're having days and days and days of where you're, you're just booked up, you're booked up two or three days um, in advance or even a week, that should tell you, 
I need another plumber. I need at least one more plumber. Um, Because again, we we want to schedule everything for today. Now there certainly are going to be days where the customer says, I don't mind. This is Monday. I don't, I'm not off work till Friday. I only want you to come out Friday. Of course, that's different, but it's the ones that you know are wanting service today. Um, And, and there's a value to that. Um, and, And people will pay for that. People will pay your honest hourly rate. Doesn't mean you're ripping people off. That's not what it is. Go through and, you know, like in our academy, we teach determining what your honest hourly rate is. And it's not something that you, um, you know, steal from your competitors. It's not something that you, you know, kind of. Ask, ask someone <laughs> down at the supply house, what do you charge? Yeah, or put your <laughs> finger in the air, you know, lick right. your finger, put, you know, which way is the wind blowing? That's why I'm going right. to charge today. Or you notice, hmm, they've got a nice car in the driveway. I'm going to charge a little bit more for this. That is not an honest hourly rate, right? Nope. So if you know that, and where's my point with that? I've already lost it. Figure, help me out, baby. Well, when, you, when you're charging what, what, uh, what you need mm-hmm. and you're, you're giving the customer what they need yes. today, mm-hmm. which is what they need. There's value to that. There's value. They'll, they'll pay, they pay for that. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you can more than just make a living, mm-hmm. all right? You can create wealth with right. your plumbing business mm-hmm. with that, yes. all right? And so it's, it's again, I get, you know, we come from, we love the feeling of, we, we think there's, security and having the, the whole week lined up mm-hmm. but the, the, as the most the insecure thing is, is where you're at mm, okay it's very insecure and so the feeling is well okay i got calls today but i'm, I'm not I'm scared about tomorrow mm-hmm. it, it, that, that's just life the, the calls the calls come in you know i learned from my my mentor um you know they had a saying that you know we live and die by the phone yep you had a plumbing business right yep and grew, i mean and just and, it's, and, die by the phone. and it's just it's just how it is mm-hmm. okay so you got to be on beyond those calls and you and you know, and you know, you make hay when you can make when the sun shines. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. and and that's that's what you do. Yep. Now again, like like uh, the love of the Lord just said, if you're if you have a couple days where it's like I can't get to all the jobs, mm-hmm. I mean, and, and I'm just saying a couple days, two days, mm-hmm. I can't get to all the jobs, and, and that's always, happening uh, consistently, right? Fairly consistently, you, you go a couple weeks like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's a, a great. I oh, need to hire that's someone. Wonderful. I'm, mm-hmm. that's, that's that's what tells you I need to pull the trigger and hire someone. Correct. Okay, and then you'll be out of the truck sooner than you think. Right. And then you just keep that process up and you should always, you know, you know, get asked, you know, how many guys to job ratio, you know, what, what, it doesn't, it's, you want, you always want to feel like you're half to one guy fat, meaning there always seems to be a guy sitting in your shop. When you say fat, kind of extra. Extra. Yeah. That's what I mean. Right. Extra. Extra. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right. Mm-hmm. So it's like uh, in the mornings, um, you know, you have four guys and three of your guys always have a, a morning morning job, mm-hmm. but it always seems to be, you know, one guy is always kind of waiting, you know, and it doesn't seem to get going to nine o'clock or mm-hmm. so, you know, mm-hmm. so the next job comes in. That's okay. That's okay. That's kind of how, that's how you want to be. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, two or three days out of the week, um, it seems like, you know, those days is, you know, a guy can go home early, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's the safe place to be mm-hmm. so that when you get the time, when there's the calls come in, mm-hmm. you know, you, you need to ride these waves. Right. Okay. And there's right. also the, the mindset of the, of the techs. If they know they've got four or five jobs on them, then they're rushing through those jobs. They just are because the, they're not thinking about the first, second or third job of the day. They're thinking about the fourth job. What's right. that fourth job going to be? Um, because that means when I get to go home or, or whatever, right? If you just, they only have, you know, a, couple jobs on them they're going to for one take the time to service the customer correctly they're going to take the time to listen to the customer to diagnose whoops to diagnose correctly um to to really serve the customer well as opposed to man i gotta run through this one because i've got that four o'clock or that fourth job on on me today that's going to be a killer um so if, if they just have a couple and we always say Tell the text, this is your only job for today. This right. is it. As far as you're concerned, this is the only job you've got for the yeah, whole you day. Don't tell, you don't tell them every job they have. No. They, they no, have on through the moment. That's right. a silent killer. Right. They only I get the one, that one. This is the job. Right. What about this job? You yes. Got, you got this job. That That's a silent killer is that, you know, if you do have two or three, four jobs on a technician, you don't tell them, here's, you know, at the at the beginning of the day, here's all your jobs, whether, you know, you service Titan or field pulse or whatever it might be, or paper, and you, you give them the job. Never, ever ever do that they know about the one job that they're getting ready to go on now they'll all ask what you got on me today how's this how's the job grid looking today 
Finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. The personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. Learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash applicant pro. That doesn't matter. That's that's not their role. They're yeah. worried about the one customer that you're sending them to and that's it. Right. And there are settings in these different software programs where you can set it up to where they don't see um, whatever job is, is on them until they've closed out the job that they were on. Right. Right. And you never give a tech any more than three, three jobs a day. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, the, the techs that make themselves, themselves make six figures plus, it's one point, they do 1.8 average, mm-hmm. one, yeah, is the average jobs that they do a day. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's, it's not, it's the, not the amount of jobs. See, that's, a, we get into that, I need more jobs. No, it's, it's, it's on, on how you triage the jobs and, and how you have your guys take care of the jobs. Mm-hmm. Again, this, this running through jobs. I mean, you can have, you know, our, our lowest month was the month we had the most amount of jobs. It was a big freeze. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of water burst and we had pipe burst, mm-hmm. yeah, pipe burst or whatever. And we had, we had Tommy three times as many jobs mm-hmm. or whatever. We actually made half again as much right. of, of our normal month mm-hmm. because the guys were running through the jobs. Had to, yeah. Just, you know, just running through the jobs. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So, okay. No, all right. Full schedule. Full, bad. full schedule. Bad. Very, very, bad. very, very, very bad. Very bad. Full schedule. Yes. Other than for today. Full schedule yes. for today is great. Full schedule for the week. Bad. Right. <laughs> schedule everything for today. Mm-hmm. You're going to schedule everything for today. That's, we've got a number of great episodes talking right. directly about that, at scheduling and all that. So all right. go back and, and check those out. And I don't know if I said um, to make sure you go out and give us a like. Did I say that when we came back? I don't think I did. Um, that was a great time to give us a review or a like or a follow or something on whatever platform that you're watching or listening to us on. We would really appreciate it. Five-star review if you love us. Five-star review, view, review would be amazing. If you hate right. us. Just don't do anything. Okay. <laughs> hey, but you like, um, you know, if you're, if, if, if you're struggling with your plumbing business, all right, let's or talk. If, or if you just know you don't know something. Right. Like, man, I've been trying, I've been trying it, and it just feels like I'm just up going uphill. It's an uphill battle because I just, there's something I just don't know, which right. is where we were. There's exactly. something we didn't know. Um, look, and that's look, why look, there's, there's strength in realizing that, yes. that you don't know something, mm-hmm. all right? And so, you know, if it feels like it's, you know, it's one step forward, you know, two steps back. But you're hungry. Right. All right. Or it feels like there's, there's more month at the end of the money, <laughs> but you're hungry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or it just feels like the only one making any money is a supply house. Mm. Okay. But you're hungry. Hungry. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's have a conversation. All right. It's, it's a free strategy call. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. All right. Mm-hmm. And, um, set up your, your free strategy call. Yeah. There's no pressure there. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll have a conversation. And I'm sure you'll come out with a nugget of gold. Yep. Or two. Or two. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. Great episode. Okay. Okay. All right. Silent, Silent but deadly. Silent but deadly. Don't do these things. Okay. <laughs> hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. Bye.